Hello, good afternoon. My name is Bimbo and this is Jack Ba with your day's channel. So today let's just talk, let's let's talk about something very concerning, something very disturbing that I've observed over the years. Now, what exactly is special in the UK, the USA, and the Canada? That they, a bunch of Africans, especially the English speaking part of Africa, run into. What exactly is special there? The UK asks you to come and pay sixteen thousand pounds, for instance, Nigerian sixteen thousand pounds to study business administration, based on today's exchange rate, that is running into millions of naira. I know that for a fact because, as at last week, I still assisted a client of mine to to uh, get issued the CAS. We paid three thousand pounds to get the and the exchange rate. We we. We paid the naira. We paid those that 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 person that did it for us was about uh four uh three million nine hundred and uh three million nine hundred and something thousand was sorry three million nine hundred and something thousand. That was what we paid the person to pay three thousand three thousand pounds just to get issued the CAS. Now, what is a burden to me is this: majority of Nigerians and the Africans. I mean, at large, cannot afford this. Only the few, the few, minute set of people can afford this. I don't have problems if you insist on going there. As long as you can afford it and you won't be a burden to anybody and you won't get deported at the end of the day when you cannot pay school fees. I don't have a problem with that. But a bunch of us in Africa, Nigeria especially, we cannot afford this. But we sell our property, sell our uh, houses, cars and everything just to go there. And at the end of the day, you now discover that based on exchange rate that is even killing us today, based on exchange rate, you discover that all those Naira that you, you know, that you exchange and put in your account, by the time you get there, it is not enough to fund the lifestyle, the average human lifestyle there, rent, feeding, transportation and the like, it is not enough. Not to not talk of the instrumental amount of money that you need to be paying every month so that they don't deport you back to your country. What is special there? But our fear is this. And I, I, I think it's based on the strategy that our colonial masters have put in place. To be able to enslave our thinking, to think that without them, we can't achieve anything for ourselves. We can't do well without them. That is that is what I think. Our perspective is so is so is our, our our thinking is so narrow that we cannot think beyond the box. I I don't even want to talk about the number of admissions I had in the UK, the USA, and the like. But when I look at my post, everything that has my name written on it, even if I sell it, I will still not be able to survive in that country. And I keep telling them, if you don't give me full scholarship, don't I can't come there. So I have to think out of the box and say, okay. What exactly is going on? What about other countries that have better lives, better jobs? Better? I started researching. That was why I landed in Portugal. So now, this, our fear, our fear is now our fear is this: the fact that most of these countries don't speak English. That is our fear. So we feel that when we go into this country, we will not be able to integrate easily to find jobs, to be able to get apartment, to be able to you know. But what we don't know is this. For instance, let me give you some, some statistics. Based on English proficiency index, Portugal is ranked the eighth English-speaking country, while Austria, as an example, is ranked third in terms of the population of people that speaks English in this country. And let me blow your mind. The second language in these countries, Portugal and Austria, um, you know, most of all, most of the European countries, anyway. English is their second language. So, which is why when you are speaking with the younger ones, it is very rare for you to see, for you to hear an, uh, a younger one say, I don't understand English. It is very rare for you to hear that. Only when you are speaking with the older ones, the aged ones. And what are you looking for with the, with the aged ones anyway? So, those are the ones that you struggle to be able to communicate to. So, and the rate of jobs as at Today, the rate of jobs, English speaking jobs that are available in Portugal, as an example today, is so massive that con the company have to be poaching each other, using incentives to poach empl employee of one place to another, you know, using incentives because the number of English speaking jobs that are available are more than those English speakers that are here to do it. You know, it is, it is disheartening, but we think that only those countries 
UK, USA, and the Canada are the ones that can give us the kind of life that we are looking for. But it is not. Portugal now also have a plan such that if you can put enough money in your account, you can come in with your dependent, just like the UK does. And don't forget that from January of next year, you will no longer be able to go to the UK with your dependent. And the same thing is about to happen in Canada. So because the, from my summary of that video that the Prime Minister did, what it means is that when you are done with your program, there is no other plan for you to citizenship or anything. Once you're done with your program, you say you are coming to your country to study. Once you are done, go back to your country. That is what that video means, based on my own summary. Now, the countries about Portugal and Austria is about planning for, they are about planning for um, uh, next year intake, September intakes and the like. So, which means, for instance, the lowest tuition fee you pay in Austria is 750 per semester for international students, which in a session, that's about one five. And you can pay this thing instrumentally. Now, they offer you easy, easy route to students, easy route to citizenship, rather, good health support, family support. And 40% of the courses they teach in Austria are in English. 40% are in English. So, and they even offer you an opportunity such that even if the course you want to do is not taught in English, you can either do learn the language before you start the program or while you are doing the program, you can be learning the language and you can also write some exams and uh, assignments in your own language, which is in English. While in Portugal, University of Porto, University of Lisboa, University of Aveiro, University of Agave, University of Mayo, ETC, the lowest tuition fee you can find in some of these courses in these schools is one eight two thousand euro. You can pay it up to 10 installments and if you are like me, you can even pay it up to 20 installments depending on your bargaining chip with the management and what evidence you have while you are requesting to uh, pay it up to 20 installments so they are planning for next year intake and i expect that people will start thinking out of the box that okay i can survive in this country if the statistics of nigerian that came in between last year 2022 and this year 2023 is was massive when i checked on the website i was like what we've reached these thousands in portugal when we when we came in it was about 700, 800 something. We've really thousands of... Ah, wow. So, a lot of Nigerians are seeing the light. But a bunch of us still feels that... Because of the fear of the unknown, we still feel that without, uh, without UK, Canada and the likes, we can't survive. But it is not true. Country is saying, come and be paying 16,000 pounds and they are offering you 20 hours of work per week. How would you survive that kind of economy? How would you pay rent? How would you train your child? How would you pay their school fees? And tax fees and all of those tasks that you pay every day to even watch tv i heard now that you pay tax some oh god but the idea is this that is why i am doing this video you can survive very well save plan your future enjoy a peaceful life in austria in in portugal without anybody's disturbance without anybody's no racial abuse nothing nothing you can survive in this country without any pressure whatsoever so i expect that you will start planning i hope this video will be able to reach the required number of people that i wanted to reach so that you 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 plan very well you if you sell properties and you end up there what about the sustainability are, are you able to sustain because if you don't pay some of this is in the instrumental payment in the uk and the likes they start threatening you with deportation or like yeah if you fail to meet a particular instrumental payment, the worst they will do is to put like 20 to 30 euro penalty fee on any instrument that you, do, you, you, you are not able to pay. So and at the end of the day, when you, before you collect your certificate, you pay it. So that is the worst that will happen here if you are unable to, for one reason or the other, pay your fees here. So I expect that we will start thinking out of the box. We will start planning long term. We will start planning for the future, not for the now. Just when you get to the country. What about... When you enter the country, how do you stay in the country? Let us let us think out of the box. Let us help ourselves to be able to um, enjoy a better life. And so that is just what I wanted to discuss today. Of course, if you have any questions, follow likes our YouTube channels, TikTok, Instagrams, and the likes. And we also have a Telegram group where you can where we address many questions. Many 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 people are there, serious minded people. So. That is just what I wanted to discuss with us today. And um, of course, like I said, follow our channel so that you get relevant and important information whenever we have them for you. And uh, while the economy is planning for next year, let's, let us also plan for ourselves. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.